Hello, my name is Darren Hermans, and I'm a product manager at Cambium Networks Enterprise Networking Group. Today we're going to talk about multi-gigabit end-to-end enterprise network and what it takes to build that out. Now, first of all, you might be saying, hey, I, I know Cambium is uh, known for their RF technology, their radio technology, but why should I buy an Ethernet switch from Cambium Networks? Well, the first obvious answer is buy everything from one vendor and it's likely to work better together. And that certainly is true. Uh, Cambium Networks brings together lots of different technologies to make that network single cohesive network integrated with wired and wireless access, all managed under a single cloud dashboard. We're gonna talk about that and drill into it and explain to you how policy-based automation is the glue. It's the glue that sticks all these components together. Policy-based automation delivers simplified operations. It makes it easy removes the uh, errors with human touching of uh, network components. It improves security and improves network resiliency, all through policy-based automation that's featured inside that ethernet switch. So when you tie that ethernet switch into the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi 6 access points, you really do have an end-to-end -end multi gigabit technology. We've done some testing on that, uh, that multi-gig Wi-Fi 6, and this, this is a particular result I found very interesting. I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, when we looked at, we took a, a, an 8x8, which is our XV3 Wi-Fi 6 access point with eight antenna chains. Um, it also supports dual 5 gigahertz mode. But we tested it in 8x8 mode with a Samsung S10, about six months old, two, two antennas, two by two, against a, a Pixel 2x211AC, it was about two and a half years old. But both of these phones uh, are, have been pretty good performing, uh, pretty good performing phones, and both are two by two there was a significant difference in performance with Wi-Fi 6. You notice the Samsung S10 actually had a significantly better RF sensitivity. It received the signal better, at higher sensitive levels. When we tested the throughput, the Samsung S10 was over 135% greater performance than the, the, the 11AC uh, smartphone. So what's happening here? You know, what's causing this type of, this type of delta between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. Well, the Wi-Fi 6 is a lot of things. A uh, couple of things we highlight, eight by eight antennas, improves the effective transmit power and, and improves the receiver accuracy. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 is a significantly more efficient signaling protocol. So there's not a lot of wasted airtime with Wi-Fi 6. And that certainly goes a long way to explaining why the Samsung phone outperformed. Uh, improved client CPU. That Samsung phone has a new CPU and it's going to be better. Uh, that's certainly true. The, the next generation technology always does uh, get a little bit better. And we had another unintended side benefit, something I did not expect. Uh, we actually find that the Wi-Fi 6 access point from Cambium has better 256 quam modulation range than, it, than the previous generation of, of Wi-Fi 5 technology. It actually has improved range due to some improvements in the way that, that, that the, uh, the quam modulation occurs in the access point. So now let's take that Wi-Fi 6 access point and let's connect it to an Ethernet switch because quite frankly, it has to connect to an Ethernet switch. That's how it gets its power and its connectivity back to the network. So when we configure it up, when we connect it up, uh, the Cambium switch is going to automatically detect that this is a Cambium wireless access point, will detect the configuration that is required from that access point, and it will configure the ports correctly. So the QoS on the ports, other port settings, VLANs in the switch that are needed to support that Wi-Fi access point are automatically detected and automatically set up. That's through the policy-based automation is uh, in the wireless aware switch. So now you have this multi-gigabit architecture, two gigabits per second, of, a bit rate through that Wi-Fi 6 access point, um, all the way through 2.5 gigabit uh, ethernet port on the switch to the 10 gigabit SFP plus connected to the routed network. So a multi-gigabit end-to-end architecture, all under a single pane of glass. So policy-based automation is not just good for wireless access points. There's lots of things we can do with it. Uh, we can auto-attach a headless device. It could be something like a printer. That's pretty common. It could be other types of IoT devices in the network, uh, temperature sensors, environmental sensors, access control, um, security cameras, or lighting control systems. Any of these types of systems are generally headless devices but they need to connect into that wired network. And so we can do that 
through policy-based automation, we can detect the device, we can categorize and fingerprint the device and then set up the correct port settings and VLANs so that device can be connected securely to the network. So we can extend it, we can go further, we can drop a, a, a laptop into a port and the laptop could just simply be a guest access device. And we can detect it, we can auto attach it and connect it to the internet uh, securely so it knows exactly where we want to go. And what happens if that device gets moved? What happens if it uh, ports get swapped? Could have been accidental, somebody could have made a mistake or it could have been intentional, right? Someone could walk into the, the printer room a little office room in your office and they could they could they could plug a laptop into a printer port and get access to a part of the network they should not be on well that does not happen uh, with this technology from cambium through policy-based automation the switch will detect that that has occurred and reconfigure the network so that automatically we maintain the correct security levels and the correct access levels throughout the entire network so an enterprise multi-gigabit network Three main pieces, single cloud dashboard for all your wired and wireless, multi-gigabit technology end to end, you need that too. And then finally, policy-based automation to simplify the configuration and tie it all together into a single integrated cohesive network, network architecture. Now you may be saying you're not quite ready for, uh, for Wi-Fi 6. Uh, you wanna try to do some of this stuff with Wi-Fi 5 no problem at all. Uh, Cambium can, can accommodate that as well. Uh, this technology, the policy-based automation, is actually included in all of the Ethernet switches from Cambium. We have about five models there. Each model has multiple PoE options, so lots and lots of different switches that you can pick the right one for your particular needs, connected to the right access point from dual radio 11AC wave two, all the way up to quad radio and high density access points, depending upon your particular needs. Manage everything from the cloud so that you have a single integrated cloud management access. Thank you very much.